Hi, my name is Rachel Crocker and I am a team leader with Osborne Books and More and I'm excited to be able to show you a sampling of what comes with our new consultant kit when you join with Osborne Books and More. Um, I just wanted to show you here that there are two options. There are two different kits, a large kit and a mini kit. I'll mostly be talking about books from the larger kit, but just wanted you to get an idea um, about that there is that option there available. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with 100 things for little children to do on a trip. This is actually a wipe clean activity pack. So they have 50 double sided wipe clean cards that you can have. So I'll show you just a few of them. Um, this is, they have doodling within there, um, you know, th just kind of getting them started, getting, asking them questions to get their brain thinking and their creative juices flowing. They have things to spot, you know, spot the differences or, um, you know, find this within the card. Um, they also have different puzzles for them to solve, um, mazes for them to do, things like that. So lots of uh, educational, you know, questions. It's not necessarily facts, but just things to get them thinking. Um, so that's great. People will like to put a little hole in the corner and then also put like a ring around it. That way they can split it up between kids or between places like their purse or the car or things like that. Um, this is another one of our activity books. This is 100 paper planes to fold and fly. I'll show you real quick. There are four different folding styles. Um, so, they, so they take the kids step by step through each of those so that they can practice it again and again because there are 100 uniquely designed tear out pages that they can use to be able to fold along with these um, with these paper planes and they actually have some dotted lines on the pages to kind of help guide them but also to give that nuts and bolts type look that an airplane might have. Um, another one I wanted to show you is Special Forces. So this is a great nonfiction for your action lovers or um, even your comic book lovers. They have it's a good transition from comics uh, into nonfiction. Um, they do have some comic strips in here that uh, seem like a lot of them tend to be uh, some true stories. Um, they touch on you know the different weapons they use or tactics they use, um, separating it into bite-sized pieces of information so it's not too overwhelming for them and lots of fun. Uh, for them to explore. I even have grown men that really enjoy this book as well. This is Raccoon on the Moon. This is a phonics reader and it also works well as a picture book or a read aloud story, um, you know, for bedtime or things like that. And most of all the books in this series are actually quite hilarious and fun for the adults to read too, as children's books should be enjoyable for the adults. Um, we also have Ted and Friends, which is another phonics reader. This is a combined volume, and what that means is that you have several titles within one book. So this actually has 12 different stories in it, and each story is sold separately um, but for $6.99, but this combined volume, you get it for $19.99 at full retail, plus the read-along CD that goes along with it. We keep the read-along CD in our car, so that way our kids can listen to it uh, in, on the way to the grocery store, wherever really that we are going. Um, they also have little flaps to fold out to kind of keep the story going. Um, and then there's also a little deck to find on every page. So if you look real close, you might see it right there behind the snake. So it's also great for them to, you know, have that little extra thing to find. And each story is about a different character, um, a different animal. They all know each other and they all have their different personalities. So it's a cute picture book for the little ones and also a great phonics reader for the ones that are learning to read. And then this is a nonfiction flat book, See Inside Your Body. And they cover, you know, all the different parts between the lungs, the digestive tracts, um, the heart and the veins, um, you know, pumping blood. And um, it just goes on and on. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see in the picture, all the different flaps that they offer here to see that. But there's several per page. And there's also um, little... Um, little facts all throughout the page as well that they have to explore. So this is a good one, you know, touching on the brain and the senses. It just is a great way to explore about their body and how it works. So see inside your body, another one of our bestsellers. Basically all of the books that come in the kit are going to be a bestseller. This is Wipe Clean Alphabet. It works in two ways in my opinion because we started using this without the marker, marker initially. We used it as just a little book to read with my daughter on learning her letter sounds. And we went through every page. So you can see here with the D, it's, it has a dinosaur and a dog and a don donkey and a duck all dancing under the disco ball while eating donuts. 
So it's just kind of fun to go through and find the different things on the page that start with that letter sound. So this is great to be able to learn letter sounds, but also for pen control. On the back, they can practice their letters. But if you look closely at the pages, you'll see little dotted lines all throughout that they can use the white clean marker to practice tracing that line and work on their pen control. So this is a great one in that series to have. This is the Secrets of the Seashore, and this one actually quickly became a top seller. And I'll show you why. It's a shine a light book, and it needs to be read with either a flashlight or a light from a window or from a phone. Um, so what you do is you actually take the light and you shine it behind the page to see what happens when the tide pool comes in. And you can see the different animals in their natural habitat. And there's the water splashing up. So this one's all about exploring what happens when the tide pool comes in. So the barnacles have little legs that come out and grab the little food. Um, there's the sea anemones and the crab and the starfish. This next one, I'll let you guess what you think is hiding in the sand there. It's a little octopus. And on the back side of the page, they just give a little bit of information about each character or each, um, each animal that they're discovering. So that one's a lot of fun, Secrets of the Seashore. The next one is a nonfiction. This is a encyclopedia, the Usborne Geography Encyclopedia, and it comes with a complete world atlas. And uh, notice the color on the pages, the photographs, the illustrations. They've also, again, you know, broken it down into the bite-sized pieces of information so the child can retain better what they're learning and also so they're not so overwhelmed and, um, and they can kind of pick and choose what they want to read about. You can notice here, I don't know if you can see this little box right here, this is a, an internet linked book and they provide a, a link within those little boxes that the child can go um, online and learn more about what, uh, what they're studying on that page. So if they're doing a report or something and they need to learn more um, than what's offered on the page, then it's, that link will have a whole list of websites that are trusted and reliable and, uh, and uh, good sources for more information. So this is the geography encyclopedia that you'll get in the kit as well. Okay, so just a couple more. This is the very first space book. And this has um, nonfiction broken down into, or all sorts of facts about space broken down into a very simplified manner to be able to help little toddlers understand, you know, what it's like to be an astronaut and go up in space and how, you know, life is there and how they train for it. But also the solar system, the moon, the stars, the planets. Um, you know, what each of them are like, you know, even touching on like the life of the star. This is a great, great talk about book to have in your home um, for little toddlers that are just wanting to explore the world around them. So that's my very first space book. The next two I wanted to show you are actually not, um, not the exact books in the kit. You're getting That's Not My Puppy and I have That's Not My Lion. So I wanted to show you this is That's Not My Lion and he has a little fuzzy nose. So it says That's Not My Lion. Its nose is too fuzzy and it's a little mouse talking on every page. Um, this is That's Not My Lion. Its ears are too soft. So this is great for building ad, uh, vocabulary. They have a new adjective on every page. When they're just little and working on tummy time, you can set this up. And then, uh, you know, when they get fussy, just turn the page. Um, when their eyes start developing, they can find the little mouse on every page. And when they're working on sensory, you can feel the texture on every page. And at the very end, the mouse finds his lion. So that's my lion. It's mean, it's so shaggy. So this really works from newborns, I'd say even up to three years old. The last one I wanted to show you is Muddle and Match. Um, you're getting Muddle and Match jungle animals in the kit, um, but I have the jungle or Muddle and Match Imagine I wanted to share with you. They actually split the book up into three different parts, and notice they have P, the letter P all throughout this page. Um, and then the next character is the fairy, and so she works on the letter F. Florence, the forgetful fairy, flaps her fabulous fairy wings and flies to find her forest fairy friends. And then, you know, so they're working on alliteration, letter sounds, and then when they want to just be silly and have three different characters in one, it actually still works as a story. Madeline, the magnificent mermaid, bends and bounces beautifully and flies to find her forest fairy friends. So it's still cute and silly. Um, endless combination and endless play in that one as well. So again, you'll be getting the Muddle and Match jungle animals um, in the kit. So. Thank you for watching. I hope that you really enjoyed looking inside the books as much as I did, and I really hope you'll consider joining our team and helping us to promote literacy in uh, the lives of children all throughout the world and being able to bring them the best books that they can have.
Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.